such a beautiful day. A beautiful day. But anyways, what's up YouTube? Two, I am 2 for T, and I am here. <laughs> and this video is showing you and telling you guys what you guys have not seen what I've been doing but I have not been able to videotape it because it's hard to do it. It's hard to videotape every last thing that I'm doing because it's just me, but this video is going to be, uh, I'm just gonna tell you guys about the problems that I've been having with the car ever since I installed my fuel pump, That act, which actually works, $20 eBay fuel pump. Uh, if you didn't watch that video, go check out my last video, which is the eBay fuel pump video. But um, yeah, I had a spark issue and I know that there are a lot of 240s out there that are being swapped, uh, dual cam Ks, single cam two, uh, that are having spark issues. And I just solved that issue. And there are a lot of dicks out there that are not really helping people out when it comes down to the spark issue. But I'm just gonna show you guys. Uh, I've, been, I've been testing out my spark plug because you know, I, it's been like two, three days since I had this issue, the, like no spark, but um, I think I just figured it out. And then once I show you guys exactly, you know, once I show you guys that it works, I'm gonna tell you the issue, I promise, I promise. Just look at the spark plug, just look at it. All right, so I got the spark. Um, let me also show you that my injectors are flashing because they weren't at a time and I fixed that too. That's my uh, fuel injector tester, but I got the issue, well, I, I solved the issue and it was pretty much the dumbest simple fix that I've ever had. Uh, this is what I did. Your F1 plug for, for your 240SX, your F1 plug, make the <laughs> Sorry, the F1 plug on the on the harness closest to this to the ECU. It's the only F1 plug, but if I can show you guys. Oops, sorry about the bad camera angle. This F1 plug right here. All I'm telling you is make sure that the black wire, the ground wire for the ECU right here has good connection and ground it right to the engine. And this, see this black wire right there? That goes up through the side of the harness. Well, not the inside of the harness, but it goes up. I made a wire, this black one right here, not the yellow one, goes out, then it turns into green. But like I said, you know, I got a new solder, so I've been soldering a lot of my wires now. And I just made, these extra wires are extra grounds for anything that need grounds. But uh, let me see, let me just turn on this light. Three, two, one, wait, no. Woo! Woo! But uh, yeah, right here, I grounded it right to the engine. This is the wire. It turns from green, the soldered, you know, shrink wrapped. So it's a pretty good connection. And I soldered this and shrink wrapped this. And then these extra red wires, like I said, are just extra wires for grounds. I grounded it right to the engine. I had it ground to the body and I wasn't getting any spark, but grounded to the engine and now I have spark. So hopefully that fixes your issue. Like I said, F1 plug closest to the ECU, that black wire, just solder it, make it long as balls and ground it right to the engine block, right to the engine block. Like where actually, I mean, you can ground it anywhere, but I grounded it right to where my injector ground is because I know my injectors are working. So that's a good ground. So I just grounded it right to where I knew I have a good ground. And now I have spark. Like, it's been three days since I haven't been getting spark, and that's the reason why my engine wasn't starting after I fixed the fuel pump issue and everything else. So now I'm going to see if my engine actually starts. All right, guys. So like I said, I fixed the spark issue. My injectors are grounding. Uh, I have to make a, there's two wires that I have to mess with that pretty much make everything work, but uh, I'm probably going to run a switch to the inside because uh, my relay setup, I added a fourth relay and it doesn't, you know, work the proper way. Like when I turn the key, it actually shuts the relay off. So there's no power going through the relay. But other than that, 
you know, put the wires together. My my pump still purges and everything, so that works. I just got to run a switch to the inside. But I'm about to see right now, and you guys are about to see right now if my engine will start. Uh, let me just double check and see, make sure that there's nothing in the way that'll, you know, shake off or anything. Make sure my fan's working. I got I have oil in the in the in the, in the engine still, so. Hopefully that doesn't wash, you know. The ring shouldn't be washed. But this is gonna be my first start test. Just, just, I hope some goodness comes from this. Let's see. And if this turns on, you know what, fucking, I'm about to just start this shit, let's see. You heard that? It's, it's, it wants to start. <laughs> Open headers. <laughs> Open headers. Not such a good idea. That scared the fucking balls out of me. Holy shit. That scared the crap out of me, but uh... It fucking runs, yo. It runs. Like, like I was, hold on, I'm, I'm coming to you guys. I'm coming, I'm coming. So, like I said, I was on a whole bunch of freaking forums. A whole bunch. Zilvia, any 240SX forum that I could find, trying to figure out why there was no spark. And I figured out why there was no spark. And I'm gonna repeat this again. F1 plug, the ground wire on the F1 plug, solder it, don't tape it, just suck it up and solder it the first time, make the wire long as balls, and ground it right to the engine. And if you want, because mine works, just ground it right to the same ground that the injector ground is, is connected to. So just do that, and I don't want to guarantee that it's going to start, but that fixed my issue. And I have fuel and my injectors are working, but I had no spark. I did the ground right to the engine block, have spark, and it started. Just don't start it with open headers. <laughs> just don't do that. But, you know, I'm super, 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 super stoked that I just got that to work. You know, I wasn't really doubting myself, but it was just like, it was like three, two, three days of no spark and that fixed it, so. That's all I got for today. Just wanted to share with you guys some knowledge. Uh, I was looking up some stuff and then I was like, I don't know what was what was going on for the no spark, but I was like, I wonder if this one ground, just that one ground, that one ground on the F1 plug was on my head. And I'm like, huh, I wonder what would happen if I just grounded that right to the engine block. And my engine started. So that's the result of me of the conclusion that I came to of that <laughs> ground on the F1 plug so my name is 2 for T ground that crap right to the engine block so you can slide and skid with me and have a nice day